Now I'd like to tie another classic Lou Oatman streamer, and this is the Shoshan Postmaster. The hook I have in the vise is a 300. This is a size 10. This is six extra long. Green Caddis Outfitters, GreenCaddis.com. Once again, I'm going to start with the lead wire, and we're going to just keep that lead wire in the center. We're going to leave a little bit of space in the back and in the front. And pull that, push that together. And you could make these with without any weight. I'm going to use black thread, and this is six ot seventy denier six ot Danvilles. And we're going to start behind the eye and bring that towards the rear hold those lead wraps so you don't push them and once you get them on the lead wraps you could let go and put several wraps in the back you could go back and forth on this just a little bit we're gonna have a floss body so that'll take care of it and I'm gonna bring the wraps to the tail area. I'm going to stop just about where it would hang at the barb. Now for the tail I took a right and a left turkey quill, molted turkey quill, and put them together and we're going to make that tail about half the length of the body. Take that go straight down hold it tight go straight down and then pull it you'll see the front come up and secure it now I'm going to leave that turkey quill in place and wrap that forward it's actually going to wrap all the way around which is fine and that will cover the lead wraps for me well. When I get close to the eye I'm going to go ahead and trim that off. Trim that pretty tight. And I'm going to go back down and add the rib. Now for the rib, I have a number 14 gold and silver tinsel. And I'm going to tie it in so I can see the silver side. And when we finish, we'll have the gold side exposed. And make sure we get that on the side there. And then we'll bring our thread back up to the front. Now we're going to use a pale yellow floss and this is acetate floss. I'm not going to put any acetone on it but this acetate floss if you use 100% acetone on it it will turn hard like plastic. I'm going to tie that in at the front And now I'm going to put a half hitch in the thread. Using black thread is going to, when the fly gets wet, it's actually going to show some darkness. I'm going to put my thread in my bobbin cradle. And then we can wrap the want to get that straightened out there a little bit. There we go. 
Then we can wrap the floss. Having a rotary vise is very nice. You don't have to cut the thread completely off and then add it again. And keeping the floss in a bobbin saves, actually saves you on floss because you're not going to use, cut off too big of a piece of floss or too small of a piece of floss. And we're going to come back. And keep this tight. And I'm just going to come back and then tie it down. I don't need to put a second wrap on it. Move my bobbin cradle out of the way. And then I can remove the floss. Secure it a little better. And I want that thread to end up about one to one and a half, a good one to one and a half width of the eye from the eye of the hook. Now we're going to take the gold tinsel and we're going to palmer that forward. I'm going to put my heckle pliers on there and you want to keep that tight Keep it tight and then tie that down. If you don't keep it nice and tight, sometimes when just holding that body, you'll unravel it. But if it's tight, you'll be good. Now oh, we can remove the excess. I'm going to flip it over. Now for the throat, I have a right and a left uh, goose quill dyed red. And we don't want this real big, so we want it maybe halfway into the body. I'm going to hold them tight. Put it between my fingers, pull it straight down. And there we go. And wrap this in there pretty tight. And then we can remove the excess. I see it move to the side here a little bit. There you go, and I'm going to tidy up that head now. Now we're going to take a bunch of red squirrel tail. I have it in my hair stacker. I'm going to pull the any loose ones out of there. I'm going to measure that and I want that to be just to the tip of the tail. When you're tying squirrel tail, it's a good idea to put a little bit of a head cement on there. So I'm going to put a little bit of head cement on there. Squirrel tail is very slippery. 
measure that once again. I'm going to tie that right in there. Make sure you hold it tight while you're wrapping those first few wraps. I'm going to push this up. You saw the first couple of wraps, it slipped there. I'm going to trim that away. Now you can put a little bit more, pull out any loose ones there, you can put a little bit more head cement on there. But I'm going to finish this off with my UV cure. So I'm just going to tidy up the head. And you can see it sliding off there. I really have to build it up in front until it builds up and covers everything. There we go. I'm going to take a pair of jungle cock and I'm going to tie them in on the side. And I don't want them to, that far, so I'm going to tie over that white spot. The, 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 the uh, white or orange spots are, it's almost like they were covered with epoxy or something. That's how they come off the bird. And I'm going to cut that off. Take the second. And we're going to tie that in. And cover the head with the black thread. Get everything covered over nice. Take our whip finish. I'm going to take my Deer Creek Diamond Fine. I'm going to put a drop on the head. And use my bodkin needle and cover the whole thing. Please just give it that a couple of seconds to level itself out and then we can hit it with our UV light. And I'm going to go around twice. really not necessary because when you get it out there and in the daylight it's going to turn harder and here we have Lou Oatman's Shushan Postmaster hope that you learned something from this video hope that you would subscribe to my channel please refer me to your friends leave comments questions suggestions and most of all I thank you very much for watching my videos